Hello everyone, Mrs Walton here and I thought I'd read you a bedtime story from my fairy garden. The story I've chosen is Adam and the Magic Rainbow and it's written by Benji Bennett and illustrated by Roxanne Bichart. Hope you enjoy it. Hi everybody, Adam said, let's play dress up in our room. Molly, you can be the princess bride and Robbie, you're the groom. Harry, you can be our mighty brave and noble knight and I can be the wizard with a magic wand of light. Just as they started playing, Fluff flew up to their window. Adam, he said, we need your help. Quick, we have to go. What is it, Adam said as he hopped up onto Fluff's back. It's the land of hugs and kisses. The wicked witch is back. Oh no. She took the hugs and kisses from the hugs and kisses fairy and she's too afraid to get them back because the witch is mean and scary. Oh dear, cried Adam. We'd better hurry, but how will we get there? Easy peasy, Fluff replied, with some magic from a rainbow and a lock of fairy hair. Fluff quickly zoomed into the sky at the speed of light to catch the magic rainbow and the fairies out that night. Just then, right out of nowhere, a secret path was cleared and the fairies cast their magic spell and a rainbow bridge appeared. Hold on tight, Adam screamed. Hold on with all your might. This will probably be our most important ever flight. When they arrived in fairyland, something strange had happened. All their dress-up clothes became the best ones ever fashioned. Hey, Robbie, Robbie, look, cried Molly. I'm like a little princess. I know, said Robbie. You look so nice and what a lovely dress. Whoa, we look so cool, said Adam. But quick, we better hurry and find the fairy queen because we don't want her to worry. Off they set along a trail to find the fairy queen and very soon they found the biggest castle ever seen. Hey Robbie, Molly giggled, I'm glad we're so well dressed. If we're going to meet the fairy queen, we want to look our best. Shh, be very quiet, whispered Adam, or we'll scare the queen away. Without her hugs and kisses, she could be shy and run away. Oh, poor little hugs and kisses fairy, Molly said. Come on Molly, Harry said, the door is up ahead. They reached the fairy castle door and softly in they went and found the worried fairy queen in her magic fairy tent. Oh, Adam said the fairy queen, the world will never be the same. Children don't get a hug and a kiss and the witch is all to blame. We can help, said Bobby, can't we? We have a wizard and a knight. Surely we're brave enough to fight the witch tonight. You are, replied the fairy queen, but wear this by your chest. It holds some magic fairy dust to protect you on your quest. She gave them all a magic stone that felt as cold as snow. Now there's one last thing, she said, that you should know before you go. When you're safe, your wand will glow magnificently bright, but beware, when you're in danger, it will be dim and hardly light. Hurry, hurry, chicken curry, quick, we have to go, giggled Adam, as he held out his magic wand that brightly glowed. Fluff, bravely through the fearless bunch of wizard wands and knights to the wicked witch's castle that soon was in their sights. Surrounded by mighty dragons breathing fire when they flew, Fluff landed by the witch's castle that stank of stinky poo. And they crept towards the castle door. Adam's wand was glowing dim. So they held each other's hand and then bravely they went in. They snuck around and soon they found the witch and witchy broom doing a jig and singing a song and dancing around the room. Ha ha, he he, I had them all, I had them all, I say. No more hugs and kisses for the fairies' kids today. Oh, that's not very nice. She's so mean, Adam thought, taking all the hugs and kisses. Then Adam noticed something strange he thought was quite suspicious. A picture lay upon the wall of a happy little baby. Then Adam wondered if the witch was just a sad old lady. Never had a hug or kiss when she was just a kid. And when her kids came out to play, she ran away and hid. The more that Adam thought of this, he began to realise that the wicked witch just may be a nice one in disguise. I have it, guys, Adam said. I know what we should do. But if my plan's going to work, you have to help me too. Everybody gathered round and agreed upon a plan. And on the count of three, their clever plan began. They all jumped on the wicked witch and pinned her to the ground and smothered her with hugs and kisses until she nearly drowned. Then all of a sudden, in a magic flash of light, the wicked witch's evil cloak was changed from black to white. Yahoo! We did it! Everyone exclaimed. With all our hugs and kisses, the wicked witch has changed. Fluff flew back to the magic fairy kingdom quickly and Adam told the story of their adventure and their victory. Oh, fairy queen, we were scared of the evil wicked witch but I knew a hug and kiss would make the good and bad witch switch. Adam said the fairy queen, you saved all of fairyland. You're welcome, Adam said, and then he kissed the fairy's hand. Then with a flash of lightning, the rainbow reappeared and with the magic of the fairies, the way back home was cleared. It's time to go, said Adam, our important job is done, but visiting your kingdom was the very best of fun. 
Then Fluff zoomed around the rainbow bridge to bring them all back home, always to be kept safely by the magic fairy stone. That was some adventure, Adam. Harry yawned and said, and with that they all lay down and slept safely in their beds. It's time to sleep, my baby Belle, safely under a fairy spell, filled with all my love hugs and kisses, sprinkled with magical, wonderful wishes. And that's the end of the story. Hope you enjoyed it. Night, night, sweet dreams.